Something about the way you move Makes me wanna feel your groove Something about the way you dress, baby Got me feeling like a mess, baby Hey guys, it's Rachel on the loose here uh, Today is uh, such a beautiful day I'm so happy to be here But I thought of filming something a little bit more Golly, like I promised and um, I thought that why not film my sexy night or romantic night out because Valentine's Day is around the corner in fact it's tomorrow or if you're seeing it it's today <laughs> depending on when you're seeing it it's tomorrow or today okay so I have this outfit with me here that I, w I would like to show you guys uh, but also I'll film this look but before we go far, I, Rachel Otieno, in the name of makeup, I solemnly swear that I'm not a makeup artist. Okay, so with that put out of the way, let's just go ahead and talk you guys through how I, how I did this a little bit with a little bit of cheat and chat here and there, telling you guys random stuff that I'm thinking. I'm using the Clinique, uh, it's, a, it's a cleanser, but I actually use it as a mask as well. And then... I can swear by this lotion, by uh, this Clarins lotion and I also use Clarins uh, moisturizer and the Clinique uh, serum so that together with a little bit of glow here and there then I'm set to go <sighs> that's just like my simple skin prep before I put like cake and stuff I therefore declare as non-judgmental until until next day okay <laughs> Okay, I, what I mean is, please guys, don't judge me. I'm just here to uh, to show what I know so far. I went ahead and did my eyebrows because eyebrows is very holy. Um, there's nothing I can tell anyone about eyebrows because mine need Jesus. Okay, so let's just get started. I'll go ahead. I'll just show you guys the products I'm using. I don't have so much products. I just have enough to make me look pretty. I just like to look good, but I am not like... I don't have too much makeup, so I think this is probably every other girl out there like you don't have like a whole shelf of makeup you just have something just as little as this this is all the makeup i have so let's get let's get started i will start with my eye makeup because i think eye makeup is very very important as we all know tomorrow is valentine's day so we all have to get excited about so many things for me i'm just excited that it's another year i get to celebrate with my boyfriend he has his own idea of Valentine's Day, but I know the pressure is on his, on his side. <laughs> the pressure is on his side, but um, yeah. So, but I think that on Valentine's Day is the day to just be a little bit extra. If you love someone, be a little bit extra with the love. Want to dress nice, be a little bit extra with your dressing. Or, But it's not what you put outside, it's more like what is inside. And I don't mean your lingerie, I mean like your heart and your intelligence and every other thing. I'll go ahead and prime those eyelids because it's very important. I realized that the reason why my eyeshadow never used to pop properly is because I was not priming my eyelids and my eyelids are a little bit discolored. So it wasn't working so good. But now I know how to go about it. It's to prime those eyelids properly go. If you're dark skinned like me, prime. Prime the eyelids. The first palette of the day, Estee Laudier. I will mix these two, this brown and this together and put it on my crease. Oh, that was intense. And then using a slightly lighter shade, I'll go for this one and put it on my bow, brow bow. I'm going to use this brownish, this color on the side. And on the inside too. BH Cosmetics. I've had this palette like since the coming of Jesus or the living of Christ. I don't pack it on. dark eyeshadow to intensify this good crease I'm 
and then just blend things up. Let's go ahead and put my eyeliner and the one I'm using is Tattoo Liner, Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D. That's the one, I, that's the eyeliner I'm going to use. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use uh, Lancome to line that. Oh yeah guys, by the way, I figured out how to put on my lashes and before it used to stress me so much, but now... I don't know who came up with the 30 seconds rule for lashes, but it doesn't work for me. I just look, eyeball it, like look at it and then... Okay, now let's apply this. So I would say for me, that's enough for my eye makeup. It's subtle, pretty in my opinion, considering I'm not even a makeup artist. And yeah, so let's get into the fun part. Firstly, I'll prime my face using the NYX uh, primer. I got it today actually, so... Ooh. Oh, my hands are looking crusty. The lotion I'm using is YSL. It smells so good. <laughs> it, it smells really nice. I never take it out of my bag without someone being like, hmm, that smells good. Like it's, it happens all the time and I love it. The color is nude. I feel like it's, it's kind of ashy looking, but it feels good. A lot of ashiness going on, but I hope that can be corrected. Thank you, NYX. Okay, so the foundation I'm going for is Fenty Beauty. The color is 450, if I'm not wrong. And I'm going also for for the, my contour and highlight. I'll use also Fenty Beauty as well because I just love it. Rihanna gets me. My beauty blender is already done. Ooh, that's good. Apply, 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 apply. <laughs> so that is done. I'll go ahead with my Fenty Beauty uh, contour and highlight and just give my face some some shape and form. Just cover up for all the bad eating habits. No, but they're talking about eating habits, guys. I'm really trying my best. I'm working out a lot and I'm trying my best to eat as healthy as I can. Don't be fooled by the vlogs when I go out with Henry and we're eating hamburgers and stuff. This girl be eating vegetables back at home. <laughs> I'm on that salad. I'm on that holy salad. Ah, oh, I love it and I feel so good, man. I feel so light. It was quite interesting when someone commented that I am fat and I need I'm pregnant or something like that. I'm like, no, I've <laughs> I've never felt this good. Maybe I'm not necessarily skinny, but I've never felt this good in my skin so don't don't say i'm fat i'm not fat i'm just me to be polite if people don't do that on this channel because i really i will try my best to avoid controversy so help me help me <laughs> in kevin hart voice So tell me, are you guys, are you girls working out? Are you girls eating healthy? Are you a naturally skinny girl? Or you are thick and loving it? So I'm back with my booty blender. We're gonna blend this up, right? <laughs> It's so clean. Wow, it's so firm and nice. Actually, today I I woke up. I had a I had a seminar this morning, and then after that I went to the gym, worked out, so I feel really <laughs> I have training pain. And then I went a little bit shopping to get a few stuff, and also came back home, showered, and then I sat down to film this video. Tell me, what was your day? What did you do? What was your agenda for the day? Did you accomplish your mission? And also, this Friday, 
I have exams, so I'm just like, oh, oh, when does this girl get to breathe? I don't have space to breathe, guys. I need, I need a real vacation somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I'm also excited for tomorrow since it's Valentine's Day. I get to chill with Henry and just forget about what, just forget about reality for a moment. Mm. Blend it. Oh yes. Oh yes. So tell me. You know, um, Henrik and I were just talking about Valentine's Day because for me, I really value it and I think like it's so special. And for him, he thinks that we should celebrate Valentine's Day every day. But I really don't know if that's realistic in real life. Like there are days when we just want to come back home and sleep and do nothing and sit in the couch and smell bad. And then there are days when you are busy and there are days when you are stressed. So. But I think that having a day that you just take off to treat the other person, make them feel special, I think it's nice. Like, of course, it's good to be in a, in a loving relationship, like you love each other, but that those days that it's just like the day. So for baking, I'm making, I'm using makeup store in the color mellow yellow. That's what I'm going to use to bake. Although guys, now especially during the winter, I try my best. I try not to bake because uh, my skin gets so. I don't know. I'm all for the glow, guys. I just tap a little, not to, not the crazy baking, just to keep it fresh. I'll use my bobby brown powder to just blend everything and put everything together. First of all, dab that out, the extra baking powder. And then using my bobby brown powder, I'll just run it through my face. Just to make sure that everything is cool. I want to do this dark brown, dark brown under it. The dark brown always look like it's black on dark skin. And I have to blush it, bronze it, highlight it, all that good stuff, you know? Oh, wait, girl, stop! <laughs> Okay, for my lip liner, I have this chestnut from MAC. That's what I'm going to use to line my lips. It's such a pretty color if you just lay it on top of something really nude and neutral to look so pretty. But because it's Valentine's Day, I'm not all for that look right now. I'm going to pop some red. And I'm using Milani lip cream. I mean, you don't always have to put on red on Valentine's Day, but a red lip does the trick. It's so funny, like I'm always doing my makeup, but sitting in front of a camera to film it is so nerve-wracking. I prefer Henrik doing it for me instead, like, woo. Who's this now? Okay, I curled my hair yesterday. But then I decided to just go around with it, uh, like I did not comb down the curls, I just kept the curls like they are. And then now uh, I've just run my hands through to give it like this volume and it's really beautiful. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the perfume I'm using right now is this YSL Mon Paris, whatever if I'm pronouncing it right. I think it's really, it smells so delicious and it has like springy undertone and it's like, oh yeah, we are approaching spring soon guys, time moves so fast. Yeah, so let's jump into a very, very, very extra montage of me in my Valentine's Day outfit.
down below if you like the video subscribe like share i really love each and every one of you i feel like you're my little extra family out there and i'm so grateful that i have you guys so thank you so much for watching subscribe and most importantly i want to wish you guys happy valentine's day tell me down there is like do you celebrate valentine's day do you think it's important do you think people should just like Henrik thinks that people should love each other through every day. Like people should show romance every day, not just on one single day. But I think that there has to be that once, just like Christmas Day. Like you're a Christian the whole day, but then there's Christmas Day. I think there has to be Valentine's Day where you just like dedicate that. Because our normal day to day life doesn't necessarily put you in such a mental space that you're all romantic and all loving and all that. Maybe he can, but no, I can't. There are times of the month when whoo, this girl is a little demon. Then there are times of the month when I just like the words I'm using would mock the Pope just like literally want to die. And there are times when I'm the angel. So I feel like Valentine's Day is one of those days that you have to be an angel, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Okay, and also tell me if you want to know my morning or evening, my morning or evening routine, I'll be so happy to, to film it. Or which other video do you want to see next on this channel. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely Valentine, loving and sharing love. And I think most of all, I think I, for me, showing love is more important than receiving because I get so much satisfaction from just like, ooh living with my heart on my sleeve and just showing love to whoever i need to show love to okay so bye love you guys